What's up you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here and I am back with another figure unboxing slash review of my first SH figure arts unboxing slash review of Noni. Oh yeah. I think it's time to finally get into this bad boy right here. Now, if you guys have seen my haul video, you've seen that I got this bad boy for $90. And if you guys are a returning viewer or subscriber, you guys already know that I am a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. So seeing this in person and the way it was gifted to me in the very, a very, very positive and caring way. Check, check out the video if you don't know what I'm talking about. But this figure, I definitely had to get it. This figure is huge. This is this might be as big as my King Cluster Broly figure. In fact, let's, let's measure it out a little bit real quick. Let's... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, the box comes out to about like 15 inches. That's huge. Pause. But before we get into the box and review of this great Vegeta SA figure arts, I gotta say shout out to my Patreon pledges for helping support the channel financially and support your boy and helping my YouTube dream become a career for me because without you guys, this probably would not be possible. And I gotta say, I highly appreciate it. Secondly, I gotta say shout out to my returning viewers slash subscribers for all the love and support y'all give me as well. And shout out to the new viewers and new subscribers as well. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and that post notification bell. That way you know whenever I come out with newer and doper content. And I need everybody watching this right now to go ahead and hit this video with a like. In fact, hit this video uh, with, with, the, with the sword slash, just like Yajirobe did on Vegeta's eye, you know what I'm saying? I know Yajirobe kind of weak, but still, you guys get the point. Go ahead and hit this video with a like. That way it helps me grow within the YouTube algorithm in ways that I don't know. And lastly, don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms such as Instagram, Twitch, join our public discord for collectors and nerds all alike. And if you want your name shown at the beginning of the video like I did earlier, go ahead and pledge to the Patreon. And if you want some cool Dark Sage merch, I have a Teespring link down in the description down below. All those links for everything will be in the description down below. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Honestly guys, I had to get this figure when I saw it because the first time I saw it, it was about $200 I believe. And me and my boy Jerry saw that box such and I was like, I'm not spending that much on a figure. And I realized it's Dragon Ball Z and that one's kind of fire. I'm going to have to spend that much on that figure. Now, greatly, I was able to get this bad boy on a really nice deal to where I basically got it for more than half off, which I got to be thankful for because it's really hard to get figures this big, this expensive for like $90. And I got to say that I am really grateful to get this bad boy. Now, if you guys do not know where Great Vegeta is from, Great Vegeta is from Dragon Ball Z. He's within the Saiyan Saga, so he is early on within the Dragon Ball Z series. And to me, this is one of the most pivotal fights within Dragon Ball Z. To me, it probably ranks right under Goku versus Frieza because this fight right here was super, super intense. It was Goku versus Vegeta. This is when Goku's realizing a lot from his Saiyan heritage. This is when Vegeta is getting outclassed by a, a, a low-class Saiyan warrior. But I gotta say that this figure right here, the way, the, how many faceplates that it has, the features that it all comes with, I gotta say that I am astounded. I am slowly getting into the SA figure arts. Uh, Jonathan, you are becoming a bad influence, but <laughs> you are becoming a bad influence, but I definitely want to get some more. I do have a great Slam Man one that I do want to review on the channel as well, but right now, today is this one, and man, this box is already huge as it is. I can't wait to get this bad boy out the box, so let's go ahead and get him out the box like right now. All right, it's time to unbox this bad boy, but you already know that if you're a returning viewer slash subscriber, I got to show y'all all sides of this box. Right here is the front of the box right here where you can see this magnificent great ape right here. You see Yajirobe, a second face play for when Yajirobe slash uh, Vegeta's face. And you got the, side, the uh, right side right here, which looks super dope, has some great imagery. And we have the back right here with all the accessories that it includes and things like that, which looks super dope. And then we got the last side right here. We got the top of the box right here. And then we got the bottom of the box. I believe this bad boy retail. Well, can I see the how much it costs? Just to give you all the specifics, this bad boy costs about $180. Got it for about half off. Definitely couldn't wait to open this bad boy up. And I forgot to tape, I mean, uh, cut the tape off on the side. So we're going to have to go ahead and, and see that on video. But right here it does come tape which is good because you don't definitely don't want these flaps coming loose during transit and lose some of the pieces um never really opened the sh figure art so don't really know what to expect but i just know that this bad boy has a lot of qualities to it so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up right now Ooh, and that was kind of, that's a little tough put it on the side right here because this little blister pack or whatever gotta pull it out Pause. And oh my gosh Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a look at it. Well, this looks super dope right here. Right here, you get the Yajirobe, like I said before, the second face play for Grey Vegeta. You get the two hands that's holding Goku together while he's being agonized. He's in agonizing pain from Vegeta. And then we got these two uh, uh, hands right here. We got another hand right there. So we can switch them out. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up like right now. Let me get a different angle though, so that way you know it, it looks better. 
Also, guys, I did not know. Ooh, I'm sorry for all that, but also did not know. Here is the base stand right here for the figure itself. That way, you know, it won't be falling over because it because it does look super heavy. Here goes the base stand right here. Eh, it's a little dusty, kind of, but it's all right. And then we got this thing to actually hold them in place, which is super dope. And then we got I don't know what this is, but we got this as well. Hopefully, we get some instructions around here, but I don't know. But let's just go ahead and see. You know, this comes with, like I said before, guys, this is my first SH Figure Arts. So, if I'm not doing something right, you guys let me know in the comments down below. But, let's go ahead. Look at this bad boy right here. And, woo, this bad boy is fire. This bad boy is huge. He feels like an action figure. Like, I feel like I could... Pew, 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 pew. I'm sorry, but I had to do it. But right here, this bad boy looks fire. Let's go ahead and see how he stands real quick. And let me get another... <laughs> let me move the camera again because this, this thing is huge. All right, got a different camera angle. And uh, right here, we got the hands right here. I got him standing. I don't know if he's actually just leaning on this. Or, but he's actually pretty balanced on his own. No, he's not. I'm sorry. I lied. But let's go ahead and put him on this real quick. I want to see how he's balanced exactly or how to balance him with this because this definitely looks dope. Oh, I guess you put it right here. Got to move the tail up some. Which, oh, oh, you need nails or something for this. Yeah, you. Yeah, that's kind of hard to move. Pause, but... Right here, you get on these accessories, you get the little stubby tail when he got his tail cut off. And then you got his big, big tail when, you know, he was being ferocious. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. Just for, you know, per uh, anime purposes. Uh, let's see how it gets on. Oh, pretty easy. Move it all around if you want. That's cool. Put this on as well. And you put this on the stand. That was really easy. So, no complicated movements right there or anything. Put this on the stand right here. Oh, yeah. This is balancing him real nice. Um, Let's go ahead and switch him out right here. Like I said, these, these characters are fully posable. So, I think that's super dope. Um, but you can take them off. Uh, this reminds me of uh, the super action statue, statues I've been recently uh, reviewing on the channel. This is super, super dope. Right here. Let me see how easy it is. Because I don't want to be getting a lot of these. And this one isn't easy to pose or anything like that. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. This is fire. I'm probably going to keep him like this. Not going to lie to y'all, but I'm probably going to keep him like this. Oh, yeah. This bad boy looks triumphant. Woo! That bad boy looks fire. Just look at the face on Goku right here. Just look Just look at him, guys. Just look at him. That looks fire. Not going to lie. But we got that right here. Got a lot of armor happening right here. I honestly didn't think that he was going to make it because I thought he was going to be super stiff. Oh! Oh, you could close this right here. Like I said, guys, I'm super new to this, so I don't know anything. But you could close this little stand thing that was holding him right here. I did not know at all. Make it a little tighter around him. So, you know, my boy, my boy is sitting upright. And then we got the Shiajirobe right here. We got this faceplate, which I really, really dig in. And then we got the Shiajirobe. I don't like that I shot the, my man's underwear, but you got the Shiajirobe right here, which <laughs> he looks a lot cooler right here than he does in the anime. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but... We, let's go ahead and switch out the faceplate. Let me see how he... Oh, that was, that was pretty easy. Not gonna lie. But right here, we're gonna switch out the faceplate. Oh, yeah. This is... Oh, wait. Did he get hit with the sword or did he get hit with, with a command Kamehameha in the face? I forgot. But right here, we got some more fingers right here, which looks super dope. My boy pointed at him like he did a Jotaro point from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. We got a fist right here where he just should be like King Kong in everywhere. And we got this fist right here, which would be super dope. Now, guys, you know that I got, I got to get this in, this in a few poses. So let me go ahead and switch and give you a few angles real quick and give you all my final thoughts of this figure. Alright guys, time for me to give y'all my final thoughts about this figure. Like I said before, this is my first SH figure art that I'm actually taking out of the box. Like I said, this is astounding. Just the points of articulation, even with you being able to move his little uh, armor plates right here, his little shoulder plates of his armor, super dope. Now the inside is kind of hollow, so I guess that adds for more of the... Uh, 
more of the flexibility for, for the uh, figure itself. I keep forgetting the word, but um, I think that this figure is super dope. The articulation points of everything on this figure is super dope. Um, right here, the stand, oh my gosh, see? <laughs> he literally bends everywhere, pause. But right here, you got articulation in the foot right here, even in the little heel, right? I mean, not the heel, but the little uh, front of the toe right here is super dope, right? Obviously, you can hear that there's plenty of points of articulation. And I got him in this pose where uh, basically he's strangling uh, Goku. And I, I am wrong, guys. I will correct myself when I'm wrong. Um, right here is when Goku hit him in the eye with a Kamehameha. I thought it was a Kamehameha, but I thought it was a sword slash just from the way the cut was over his eye. But right here, this is when Goku hit him over the eye with a Kamehameha. Then Vegeta just picked him up after stomping him relentlessly. And right here, you was able to add a Yajirobe right here after cutting his tail, which I put the tail... Uh, the cut tail right here which is super dope as well i definitely love the fact that you can actually articulate this and these move i know i already said it earlier in the uh in this little final review part but right here just being able to move that i thought that was super dope because it doesn't uh restrict his his angles of movement and i'm, I'm excited with this especially since i didn't expect for me to be able to open the mouth yeah this figure is worth 180 dollars gladly i got it for 90 and i gotta say again Thank you, Ian, for letting me get this bad boy. It was This was the only one in story. He was letting me get it. So I got to say thank you, Ian, again, for letting me get this bad boy and letting me review it on the channel. I got to say this figure is super dope. I'm definitely expecting to get way more SH Figure Arts now, especially after this one. But guys, let me know what you think about this SH Figure Arts. Let me know what you think about this great Vegeta figure. Let me know if uh, you actually like the fight between Goku and Vegeta. It's one of my favorite fights within Dragon Ball Z. It's one of the top fights in Dragon Ball Z, in my opinion. One of the top fights in anime, probably. But <laughs> this is my Dragon Ball Z bias getting in the way, probably. But um, I love this figure, like I said before, guys. Let me know what you think about the video review down below. Let me know what more points to touch on when I'm actually reviewing the SH Figure Arts. Like I said, this is my first SH Figure Arts review, so I might not have get, gotten everything that you guys probably want to hear about, but the paint job does look flawless. Um, there's really no complaints that I have with this figure. Obviously, he's a little heavy, but I mean, look how big the figure is, so you can't really count that against the figure itself, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and hit that post notification bell, and I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace.